So Romanovs decided to call themselves Romanovs for the 300th celebration of the imperial family rule. But why? Well, remember that the main line ended with Peter II and all the rulers starting from Peter III technically came from the Holstein Gottorp family and that bothered Romanovs for a long time. So they really wanted to rekindle the connection with their original rulers and that would be a man mostly known as Patriarch Philaret of Russia. His aunt was the mother of the last Tsarist Tsar, making him the last Tsarist cousin. So no royal blood whatsoever, but in the mess that would happen in round, good enough. And in reality, Philaret never officially became a Tsar, but he managed to put his son on the throne, and since Mikhail wasn't the kind of 16-year-old who could conquer the world, Philaret basically ruled himself. But anyway, back in those days, last name didn't really exist in Russia. In Philaret's family in particular, it was common to give three part names, your own, the patronymic, and sort of a last name would come from your grandfather. So Philaret's birth name was Fyodor, his patronymic was Nikitich, since his father was Nikita, and then his grandfather was Roman, hence 